So now I'm going to iron them. First, I'm going to spray the fabric. I prefer to spray it then. Put the water in the iron. So I'm just make sure it's a little damp, not too damp. I don't have an iron board, so I decided to use my blanket and fold it a couple times. It worked for me because I did it in another project that I did earlier. I just want to smooth out the wrinkles. All right, so we're done. Now we're gonna staple the fabric. Okay, so now we're gonna staple the fabric. Now make sure you have a heavy duty um, stapler. And I got uh, this one at Lowe's, the Boss Stitch Stanley. This is a multi-purpose um, staple gun. So, worth buying. All right, so here we go. Put this. Make sure. Make sure you just mess with the fabric because if you're pulling one side so tight, because you really want to pull the fabric tight, you don't. If you don't pull it tight, it's gonna be all crumpled up like that. You don't want. You don't want that to happen. Okay, so make sure that when you're pulling it, you're not pulling so much on the other side. I mean, you have enough fabric on the other side, so that should be good enough. So I'm going to do right here. Okay. And just put pressure. I'm going to push down. Make sure that the staple is in there. Okay. Okay. So now there's a curve. I should have cut this one. gonna continue right here. Make sure I get that. So we're gonna do the edges first, okay, to make sure you have the fabric put. Now we're gonna turn it the other side, okay. And we're gonna pull. See how it's pulling the, on the other side, on the other end? So we're just gonna make sure you pull it tight. So we want this tight, okay. And then pull this. I don't want this over that. Hi, baby. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Square. Square, right? Cookie. And yes, cookie. Don't tell daddy. Okay, so now we're gonna work on a corner. Um I prefer to work the sides and then um do the rest. So I'm gonna fold the fabric. You can cut it if you want, up to you. So I'm just gonna extend the fabric up here. I'm gonna pull it. Like I said, I'm not going to try to pull it too much because I need enough fabric to cover this side. So I'm going to pull it a little bit. Make sure. Okay, so right here is fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. And like I said, just make sure that you pull the fabric in place. 
put pressure so it doesn't go anywhere and you're gonna push on the staple gun because you want the staple to go through okay I don't want to cover this I need that open so right here is fine it's just I'm gonna pull just a little bit, not too much. Okay, just make sure you keep checking on the other side. Now, here's this part right here. I'm gonna put more staples in it, so I just wanna make sure I got everything. Everything looks okay. So I'm gonna. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. Okay. Now you're gonna pull the fabric one as tight as you can. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see. Let me zoom out. See how tight the fabric is? It's nice and smooth. That's how you want it. You don't want you don't want it crumpled like that. You see this egg sticking out. Okay. Make sure you pull it very we're gonna make sure you pull the fabric very tight. So I'm going to leave this uncovered. Nice and smooth. Pretty good. Okay, so we're going to do the, the bottom piece. This one might be... Maybe a little tricky because of, of these right here. So let's give this a try here. Okay, like I said, just before you start stapling, you want to center the fabric. I mean, the bottom piece, whatever you're working on. And just make sure that you have enough fabric to go over. Okay? So let's move this one. should be fine yeah okay so I'm gonna start let me make sure it keeps moving all right I'm gonna start on this side everyone has a different preference and uh, starting so it doesn't matter this is how I do mine and it works for me so you could do however you like whatever works for you I'm going to show you, see how that, you want this tighter, make sure you pull on the fabric. Don't be too scared to pull, you're not going to rip it or anything. Okay, so I'm going to start on the corner now. And I'm going to pull. I'm not going to pull too much because it's pulling on this side and I need that, okay? So, on the corners, you don't, you can cut it however you want if you want to cut the, like the rounded edge or just fold it so I'm gonna fold mines okay I'm gonna I'm gonna staple in between right here I'm gonna put one here and one there and maybe one here here can't even talk can you see okay you see how I have it folded okay I'm going to staple in between right here, top and the bottom, and then one more right here. So, let's see. One more. Right. So, right here. Now for this piece right here and you can see I I cut the fabric so I can fit it in there so I'm gonna do it to this one too you don't have to do this if you have that you could do it differently you could fold it or however you want it cut it 
but I, I wanted to do this because it looks a lot better that way. So I'm going to pull the fabric just a bit and just snip this part. So I know it's So now I'm going to staple this side right here. I'm going to fold it and then pull. And then I'm 